now we will see one example okay uh, of a compound cycle of the uh, gas turbine and a rankine cycle okay yeah, it was asked in the 2019 ESC mains examination so here consider the combined gas steam power cycle shown in the figure okay gas and the steam power cycle the topping cycle is a gas turbine cycle that has a pressure ratio 8 for the gas turbine the pressure ratio is 8 okay air enters the compressor at 300 kelvin and the turbine at 1300 kelvin so minimum temperature and maximum temperature both are given here the isentropic efficiency of the compressor is 80 percent and that of the gas turbine is 85 percent so that means the compression and expansion in the gas turbine is not isentropic but instead you know uh, there is some efficiency is given the bottoming cycle is a simple ideal rank in cycle operating between the pressure limit of 10 megapascal and 5 kilopascal. Steam is heated in a heat exchanger by the exact ga gases to the temperature of 500 degrees centigrade. That means the inlet to the turbine is 500 degrees centigrade and 75 megapascal which is a superheated state. Okay. The exhaust gases leave the heat exchanger at 450 Kelvin. Then determine the first one is the ratio of mass flow rate of the uh, steam and the combustion gases okay the second one is thermal efficiency of the combined cycle assume the specific heat of the gas is 1.005 kilojoule per kg Wait. see here what is the first bit the first bit here is you know they are asking to find out the mass rate uh, ratio of mass flow rate of the steam and the gases that means m dot of steam s for steam divided by m dot of gas g for gas okay what is the second bit second bit is the overall efficiency okay overall efficiency we need to find out these two you might be wondering what's about the uh, different values uh, in the steam generator steam power plant see they have given the condition what is that the maximum pressure and the minimum pressure okay from the steam table you can take the different values so the steam table is provided in the examination okay or sometimes the molar chart also will be provided so you can take that this is a mains examination so everything will be provided data okay and that is where the question is very big here so here if you look at this diagram first of all first you know i will ask some questions what is that is this gas turbine is a complete cycle no it is not a complete cycle but instead you know it is a open cycle so up to the point 4 uh, up to point 5 dash it is a uh, coming and after that the excess gases will be released to the atmosphere that is what happening here okay so let me briefly explain the problem again quickly see here this is the bottoming uh, top cycle and this is the bottoming cycle top cycle is the gas turbine bottom cycle is the ranking cycle here so here the compression process is starting from the point one dash when the temperature is a uh, 300 kelvin these are kelvin okay these are uh, this is a kelvin and this is also kelvin and uh, up to this point it is compressed but instead of giving the point here we got the point two dash let's assume this point is a okay so this two dash means you know it is a uh, like this right okay and after that it is a uh, heat is given to this how much heat is given let's assume q1 amount of heat is given to this heat given means you know in the combustion chamber we burn the fuel so that the heat is uh, produced there okay so air and fuel is reaching this position 3 dash you know just before entering into the gas turbine you know, whose temperature is 1300 kelvin here this is also kelvin and after that it is uh, expanding here after expanding which point instead of giving this point which is a b isentropic point they have given the 4 dash okay so that means it is expanding like this up to the 4 dash okay and after that 4 dash here what is happening q2 is uh, you know released right the q2 is uh, whatever q2 when the exhaust gas temperature is from 4 dash to the 5 dash it is uh, coming that uh, the amount of heat is given to the system okay so here this much amount is given to the steam q2 
So here Q2 is uh, help to rise the water temperature from the point 2 to the point 3. Okay, and uh, again uh, this process is the uh, same. So here the point 3 and uh, point 3 uh, state is given 500 degrees centigrade. This is degree and uh, 7 megapascal. Okay, here it is a uh, 5 kilopascal. So here see how much heat is rejected here q3 amount is rejected here okay so here apart from the q2 this much heat actually see it stopped the cycle gas turbine cycle is stopped at 5 dash instead of coming to the 1 dash okay so what is the meaning of that that means here if i say that you know from 1 dash to 5 dash we lost the q2 dash amount of the heat then i can write like a see heat input heat input in the entire cycle overall overall heat input overall heat input is how much q1 equal to how much where is the heat is given only during the gas turbine okay by burning the gases and air okay uh, fuel and air so together we are calling it as a gas so it is a mg dot mg dot into you know um, 3 h3 h3 dash minus h2 dash okay this is what given any other heat is given in the entire cycle no nowhere else we have given the heat here okay so this is the heat input what is the heat rejection heat rejected here heat rejected equal to q3 plus q2 dash what is the q2 dash q2 dash is different from the q2 what is that q2 dash q2 dash is from the 1 dash to 5 dash because of that you know cycle is not completed so here for q3 it is a m steam q3 is uh, during the steam cycle right so m steam dot into h4 minus h1 plus q2 dash is again gases right so mg dot into h5 dash minus h1 dash understood this portion also missing right so this is the overall heat rejected okay so why i am specifically saying this one many times see what is the second bit here you know mu overall whenever you know we see the mu overall we may think that a one minus q3 divided by q1 see here q3 is heat rejected here q3 only not only the heat rejected even q2 dash also you know being rejected in the gas turbine itself understood that is why here can we use this formula no we cannot use this formula then which formula we can use we can use only the move overall equal to w net divided by q input okay w net divided by q input what is the w net w net is uh, the work produced in the both the cycles okay anyway we will see that in the next step okay you remember this you remember this but anyway we don't need this also heat rejected i'm uh, erasing this so that i can uh, save some space so what is the first bit first bit is you know i need to find out the relation between the masses of a uh, uh, gas power cycle and then steam power cycle how can i find out that where is the logic the only logic that i have here is uh, the amount of heat rejected the amount of heat rejected heat rejected in the gas cycle how much the amount of heat rejected is how much that is a uh, mcp sorry m dot g into cp into temperature difference right from t4 dash minus t5 dash right the amount of heat rejected in the steam cycle sorry gas cycle the heat is a rejected from a 4 dash to the 5 dash in the gas cycle that is why i have written a mg dot into cp into this one okay equal to the amount of heat gained from a 2 to 3 okay so here the amount of heat gained is a steam dot into enthalpies in terms of enthalpy h3 minus h2 okay 
So here, what's about H3 and H2? H3 value is non-value and H2 value is non-value from this team table. Okay, I can calculate from this team table, right? And what's about H T4? T4 value is unknown value. Okay, and what's about T5? T5 is directly given. Okay, how will you find out the T4 then? Okay, so for, to find out the T4, T3 is known and the present ratio is known. Okay, so here what I use is, you know, the efficiency of the turbine equal to how much? Actual isentropic, actual work by isentropic work or actual work by isentropic work. Isentropic, uh, actual work divided by isentropic work. Okay, W actual divided by W isentropic. Okay, for the turbine. Why? Because the W isentropic is more. Okay, what is the actual 3 dash 2, 4? That means here, mg dot cp into t4 dash minus, sorry, t3 dash minus t4 dash divided by mg dot cp into t3 dash minus tb. Okay, so first of all, we need to find out the TB. What is the TB? We don't know. So how will you find out the TB? See here, T3 dash divided by TB equal to the present ratio T2 dash divided by, you see, P2 dash divided by P1 dash whole power gamma minus 1 by gamma. What is the P2 dash? P2 dash is this one. This is a P2 dash and here this corresponding is a P1 dash. Understood? Okay. So what is the gamma value? Gamma value I will take 1.4. Okay. So here from this I can find out the TB. TB equal to, I am taking this to right side and this is coming to the left side so that it will come to the denominator. T3 dash is how much? 1300 already given. 1300 divided by this ratio is 8 is given whole power. Gamma I may 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4. So after simplification, how much value you will get? Here you will get a 700, 717. 717.66 Kelvin, 66 Kelvin, okay. So TB is known, so these two will be cancelled, T, mu T is known, mu T is 0 0.85 is given. So from this T3 is known value, TB is known value, I can find out the T4 dash, okay. So here T3 dash minus T4 dash equal to mu T into T3 dash minus TB. Okay, T4 dash, T4 dash equal to T3 dash, I will write the values directly. See, I am taking this to the right side and the entire thing to the left side and T3 dash is how much? 1300 minus 0 0.85, that is this one, into 1300 minus TB is how much? 717.66 Kelvin. Okay. So after simplification, how much value you will get? Generally, you should get more value than the TB. Okay. You will get 805. 805.01 Kelvin. Okay. So T4 dash is how much? This much, okay. I will keep aside. Here, T4 dash is known, T5 dash, T5 dash is known, H3 and H2. That we can take from the, you know, um, the steam table, okay. Before that, here itself, uh, I try to calculate even other uh, temperatures also. What is that? I try to find out the, you know, T2 dash also. Why? Because it will be usable in the second bit, okay. So how will you find out that mu compressor equal to how much? Okay, W isentropic divided by W actual. Okay, already we discussed so many times. Okay, this one. How will you remember this? 
always this one isentropic is less than the actual here so the efficiency should be less than here the actual is less than the isentropic that is where whichever is less it will go to the numerator okay so anyway these the the specific weight will be cancelled here so directly i will write only in terms of the temperature isentropic is how much t a m minus t 1 dash divided by t t 2 dash minus t 1 dash okay so first we need to find out the ta how will you find out the ta again here i will use the you know uh, ta divided by t1 dash equal to p2 dash divided by p1 dash whole power gamma minus 1 by gamma then ta equal to t1 dash if i take to right side it will be 300 into 8 power 0 0.4 divided by 1.4 if i substitute 1.4 so ta value is how much here after simplification tell me here the ta value is 543.543.43 kelvin 43 kelvin here okay and uh, again i will substitute this ta in this so we need to find out the t2 dash so i can write t2 dash equal to i am writing a direct step so please follow me i take this entire thing to the left hand side and mu c i will take to the right hand side so that the mu c will go to the denominator okay mu c will go to the denominator so here it will become t2 dash minus t1 dash equal to t a minus t1 dash divided by mu c see here that minus t1 dash i will take to the other side then it will become t1 dash plus okay t1 dash is how much 300 so what is the 300 plus 543.43 minus 300 divided by 0 0.8 so finally t2 dash how much you will get t2 dash equal to how much you will get finally after simplification so here you will get a 604.29 604.29 kelvin okay always we substitute in the kelvin this is the t2 dash okay so let's come back to the the original problem here so here what are the values of the enthalpies so here enthalpies we need to find out first h3 is a direct one h3 is a direct enthalpy what's about h2 h3 is a directly we can find out because the temperature and the pressure are given what's about h2 h2 how will you find out okay here h2 value how will you find out h2 value see here h2 uh, see otherwise i can write like a the pump work right pump work equal to h2 minus h1 do you agree this pump work okay so from this i can write h2 equal to wp plus h1 h1 can we can i can i find out the h1 yes i can find out the h1 directly you know from this steam table and what's about the wp wp i can uh, always find out you know in v, v into specific volume into the pressure okay so here h1 plus a specific volume into the pressure that is how i can uh, pressure difference okay dp that is how i can find out this okay so here h2 equal to h1 is how much from the table h1 is 137 table means not here it won't be in the the, you see, go back to the test book and see check the steam table okay it is 137 point how much 137.75 75 what is the unit of this kilo joule per kg okay kilo joule per kg plus the specific volume at a point one specific volume at a point one how much from the table the specific volume at the point one is 0 0.00 0 0.00105 okay what is the unit meter cube per kg into the 
change in the pressure change in your pressure how will you take one is a 7 mega pascal minus 7 mega pascal minus 5 kilo pascal okay so here i will change into the kilo pascal both 10 power 7 into 10 power 3 minus 5 so it is a kilo pascal pascal means newton per meter square okay so here um, meter uh, meter square and uh, only one meter is there and by kg is there kilo so here how much it will become newton meter will become how much you know uh, joule so kilo joule per kg so what i'm trying to say is already we discussed this one many times whenever you are uh, adding the one unit to the another unit this is in the kilo joule per kg but uh, we don't know in which unit it is always you make sure that you are adding the same unit okay whenever i convert this mega pascal into kilo pascal then only it will become the kilo joule per kg understood that is what i am trying to say here so what is the h2 value here finally here h2 value is how much h2 value is 144.78 144.78 what is the kilo joule per kg understood this is what we got and what is the h3 value direct directly from the table it is a 3411 3411.4 kilo joule per kg kelvin so if i substitute those values in this okay so what we want ms dot divide, ms divided by mg right so i will take the mg to this side and remaining to this side so ms dot divided by mg dot equal to okay uh, cp t4 dash minus t5 dash divided by h3 minus h2 that equal to cp value is how much 1.005 into t4 is how much where is the t4 here 805.01 minus t51 where is the t51 450 450 it is directly given in the problem divided by 3411.4 minus 144.78 again you need to make sure that you know whether the dimensions are matching or not units so here what happened this is a kilo joule per kg kelvin and into the kelvin so it will become kilo joule per kg what is the unit of cp specific heat kilo joule per kg kelvin and here what is the unit of this kilo joule per kg okay both are matching okay so i can substitute this so what is the value here finally how much value you will get you will get 0 0.0.1092 okay ms dot divided by mg dot is how much this much okay so second bit what is the second bit second bit is overall efficiency so overall efficiency o for overall efficiency w net divided by q input q input w net is how much here w in the both the cases okay so w what is w net total i will write total so that means w net in the gas turbine plus w net in the uh, this you know gas uh, what is that steam turbine so in the in the gas turbine what is the formula okay so in the gas turbine see here first of all i will write q input what is the q input q input equal to mg dot mg dot cp into t3 dash minus 2 t3 dash minus t2 dash okay this is the value so here this is in terms of the gas right so mg is unknown value mg dot into cp is a 1.005 into how much value uh, okay otherwise i will substitute at the end let it be like this okay now w net of a gas turbine how much mg dot is common and cp is common in the both so here turbine minus the compressor for the turbine it is a t3 dash minus t4 dash 
minus t2 dash minus t1 dash right this is a compressor okay this is the value and then now what is the w net of the steam turbine steam turbine w net is how much okay ms dot into h3 minus h4 okay overall ms is common minus okay minus uh, this turbine work generally turbine work uh, sorry uh, pump work can be neglected pump work but anyway i will write this pump work pump work is how much v1 into dp v1 into dp here you know h1 minus h2 h1 minus h2 if you subtract this h1 minus h2 approximately how much it is coming 7 it is coming okay so it is a wp i will write a wp no problem so here small wp otherwise see here what is happening see uh, these q input is a mg okay but whereas w net is a summation of these two this first one is in terms of the mg or the second one is in terms of the ms okay how will you add that is a tricky one how will you add everything i need to convert into mg so that everything will be cancelled out okay so here i will arrange this so here t3 value is now t2 values i will write here before i arrange everything what is the t2 value t2 value is 604 604.2 Two nine Kelvin. Okay, and what's about the T four value? Where is the T four? Eight not five. So this is a eight not five. Where is this? Eight not five point zero one Kelvin. Okay. So now I can arrange everything. Okay. So. I will write the overall efficiency mu overall equal to I directly substitute this value W net. This one is how much MGCP? MGCP into what is the T T3 dash minus T4 dash okay minus minus this one T2 dash minus T1 dash okay this is the W net of the gas turbine plus W net of the you know uh, steam turbine but see everything I want to write in the same mg either mg or ms so already Q input is in mg W net of the gas turbine is in the mg so I will convert this ms into mg how will you convert ms into mg by using this formula so here you know 1 point sorry 0 point 0 point 1092 into mg dot okay can i write like this yes of course i can write like this okay i i wrote in terms of the ms i have written m in terms of mg so here how much a3 h3 minus h h3 minus h4 minus wp okay whole divided by q1 is how much mg cp mg dot cp into t3 dash minus t2 dash okay so here mg mg will be cancelled okay so now if i substitute the values mu overall equal to how much 1.005 into the temperature difference t3 is how much 1300 minus t4 is a 805.01 okay again t2 dash t2 dash is a minus minus if it go to the bracket it will become minus 604.29 minus into minus plus t1 is a 300 plus 300 and here plus i will write here plus 0 0.1092 into mg is cancelled right here also mg is cancelled into h3 is how much h3 
See, H3 is a, where is that? Oh, this one. 3, 4. So, here the value is a, how much? H3 value, 3, 4, 11.4. Okay. And then H4, where is H4? Uh, what we are writing here, H4. Where is H4? H4 value. Achha, H4 value we need to find out. Okay. H4 value, how will you find out H4 value? Again, we will use the logic. See, H4 value is not a saturated point, but instead it is in the phase region. So, here we will use the logic S3 equal to S4. Why we use this logic? To find out the dryness fraction at the point 4 here. Okay. After finding the dryness fraction, I can write H4. H4 equal to how much? HF plus XF into HG minus HF. What is this HF and HG? These are the saturated liquid and saturated, uh, you know, steam corresponding to this line. Okay, for the 5 kilo Pascal. So, this extreme end and uh, this extreme end are uh, directly can be found out from the steam table and uh, X4 also can be found out and uh, you can uh, write this. Okay, you pause this video and uh, you yourself to look the result and uh, see. I will directly write the value here. What is the value of the X4 I will write. Here, X4 x4 I am writing equal to 0 0.789 this is the x4 okay once if you know the x4 you substitute and find out the x4 so x4 sorry h4 h4 how much how much you will get 2073 2073 okay how we got this by substituting this value in that whole divided by whole divided by this one cp is 1.005 into temperature t3 dash is how much 1300 minus t2 dash where is the t2 dash this one t2 dash what is the temperature 604.29 okay this is the value see the only logic here is this one you may make mistake only here what is that this is a uh, in terms of the G, Mg, this is in terms of the Ms, so I cannot add, add this. Okay, so in a stud, I will convert this. I can add if you know the absolute value of the Mg and Ms, but I don't know absolute values. That is why I converted so that uh, everything will be cancelled, the Mg will be cancelled. So, after simplification, uh, what is the value you will get? Okay, so after simplification, how much you will get? Tell me. So, here 48.31 percentage approximately, 48.31 percentage, so mu this one. See, this much big problem we got. Instead, you know, if there is a no exhaust to the atmosphere or whatever Q2 coming out of the exhaust gases, everything is given to the, you know, the rise in temperature in the steam turbine then in that case you know instead of finding all these I, can, I could have found like this mu overall equal to 1 minus q3 divided by q1 okay what is a q3 q3 equal to you know m s dot into h4 minus h1 and then q1 equal to mg dot into uh, where, where is that t3 dash minus t2 dash okay so again i would have used this you know relation where is that relation this relation and then h4 uh, how you need to find out h4 again by using the entropy equating the entropy at a 3 equal to entropy at a 4 because it is isentropic process from that i will find out the x4 and after that i will find out the h4 i will substitute and i can find out but here in this case also it is a simple only see here in this case also simple only but uh, we would have you know oh, oh, avoided one step what is that finding the temperature of a t2 dash okay or in the examination if they had given you know uh, 10 kgs of uh, for 100 kgs of uh, gases you know 
some 10 kg of steam is produced if they have given like that then we don't need this step also this relation since they have not mentioned the value that is why we found this relation so that here we will substitute to find out the overall efficiency but if they had mentioned like that then without you know finding this we would have directly gone to this step provided the h5 when instead of h5 it is ending at the one dash sorry h dash it is ending at the one dash okay this is how you need to do in the examination okay so don't get confused